I've made up a new parametric shape for both ward cam and eye gems. It's what I call the Q5 to Q1 shape here. So I'll start this side by side in ward cam and eye gems. So I find that this is a nice sample. If you're cutting a new material, you want to get an idea of speeds and edge quality, taper, what holes are going to look like at the different quality levels, what inside corner is going to look like. So if you want to make a sample like this for your sales team for different materials or you just get new material in-house, you want to have a sample to refer back to, hopefully a handy thing to, uh, to use here. And of course the idea is if you're doing something on thin material, these uh, edges and the overall part size doesn't have to be quite as long because you don't need as long a time to ramp up to full speed, whereas if you're doing this out of a thicker material, two inch thick or something like that, you're going to need more time to get up to full speed, so you'd want these edges to be a bit longer as your material gets thicker. So with the parametric shape in either ward cam or eye gems, you can specify either the overall length of the part, in this case seven inches end to end, uh, eye gems I've got it set to eight inches right now, or you can specify what you want the length of the each of these edges to be, and then that will calculate the uh, overall length from that. So if I decide that I want that edge length to be 1.5, that'll change that overall length. And of course, you can change things like height and the diameter of the holes, notch height, how deep down these notches are going into the part, and then the width of those notches. And then same idea over here in iGEMS, where you can specify all those different parameters as either the overall length of the part or specify length of those edges. So in both cases, once you've got the numbers the way you like it, click on the check mark or OK. Puts that in there. And then from there, you would go through and program your part as normal. And then you can apply your five different qualities to the part and hopefully give you a nice little sample piece. So if you're interested in testing out either of these files, shoot me an email and I'll get you what you need. Thanks.